I arrived today, actually. And I'm in the center of Kiev, where I live normally, but now I am staying at a friend's house because there's a commandant hour and uh, no one is allowed to go outside for two days. I guess there's a uh, because there was some gr Russian groups that were trying to enter the city, not big ones. And I think they, I think they block the city so they cannot really travel inside the city. And uh, so the army doesn't mix them up with, uh, with the uh, Ukrainians. No one is allowed to s walk on the road. If you're on the road, you might be taken as a Russian. So I had to ask my friends to pick me up with uh, with weapons and take me to to the apartment because uh, otherwise I would have to stay in the in the metro station. And I didn't see much uh, damage yet because I was in the center and I know that uh, today they they hit for for uh, apartment houses, uh, big ones somewhere on the outside, of, like on the not in the center of the city. So, which were burned down completely. So in the center, I saw a few crashed cars, many, many of our army. And uh, yeah, obviously you feel, you feel that war is here and, uh, and there's n not one person or one car on the street. So it's like uh, an abandoned city, but it's okay. We, we stood uh, next to this, next to the, my friend's house and just a rocket flew by uh, in the sky. So yeah, I knew where I'm going. I thought I would be more useful outside of the country for the first few days because obviously I'm not, I'm not in the army. I'm not going to be the first one fighting. And then after a few days, once it settled down, the, the fights got understandable where we're, we're doing good, where we're doing not very good. And um, then I started to plan to go back. I, I had no idea how to hold a weapon. So, so I found a shooting uh, place and I was, I was lucky that there was an ex military professional who, who teached me for five or six, seven days. I don't remember. So now I'm comfortable with, with weapons. I can shoot quite, uh, I mean, not perfect, but for sure I can hit a person if I see one. And uh, I'm more confident in, I got more confident and then I set up uh, uh, coming back. We drove through Croatia, uh, then Hungary, Slovenia, Poland. And in Poland, I crossed the border. I met my father on the, on the Ukraine side, we stayed one day in a safe place. And then I took a train to Kiev. So they, they hit something with a rocket like 20 kilometers from Poland the same day that I was entering. But uh, yeah, I mean, you see there's war because the, the roads are patrolled by armed men, even though there's no Russian forces on that side of Ukraine. So I entered quite freely and uh, then just continued my way. It was my decision and no one can uh, stop me with my decisions. Father was sad. It was a tough uh, when, we, when we split. He was very worried. And obviously no one wanted uh, me to be here, but that's the reality. It's war. Well, what can we do? I mean, many people are, I'm sure that no one from our guys wants to die or, or be in this war, but it's our land. The soldiers are fighting, but they need to know what they're fighting for. If everyone leaves the country, leaves their homes, and there's an empty city just for, of soldiers, how are they gonna really have the motivation to, you know, to fight till the end? And uh, I think it's important that uh, famous people and uh, known people that Ukrainians are supporting the army. I think that being here really sends a message and, uh, and many, I see many guys from sports or from uh, uh, singers and uh, all kinds of famous people of our country have stayed or are coming back 
to to help out. I'm gonna be traveling around with my friend, uh, doing some uh, uh, help with bulletproof vests, with food, uh, all kinds of vo volunteer stuff. Uh, driving around, then uh, there's something I cannot say what we're gonna do. And mostly helping out, I'm gonna be speaking to people I know that are in the battlefield, not uh, not in the back. And whatever they are going to ask me, I'm going to try to make it happen. So that's uh, that's my main goal and role for the next whatever time. I don't know how long this will be. We would like uh, the Europeans and uh, all the world, Americans and uh, Canadians to to push a little bit their governments, you know, so they we need there, there's something we don't we don't have. We don't have. Fighting, fighting jets. We don't have uh, enough protection of our sky because they're bombing us from the sky. This is a war that's uh, not uh, hundreds are dying. Tens of thousands are dying. Maybe the numbers will be up to a million or more. So there's no more politics in this situation. It's every person from Russia should pay the price. This is their government that was there for 20 years and they did nothing about it. They were. They went to war in Georgia. They went to war in Ukraine. They were in Syria. They were everywhere. Person, I think it's got to a level where every Russian is responsible for what's happening. It's not enough to say uh, we are against war, because this I can hear from uh, in the Miss uh, Universe or in the in the Oscars. You know. It's nice words, but people and kids are dying every day here. And the only way to stop this is for Russian people to take down their, their government, which they are afraid of doing. And even the tennis players, you see their, their, uh, their speeches are really, really careful. They are not saying we condemn uh, our, the war, uh, our army, our government. They're saying we are against war. For me, this is not enough when such things are happening. So for me, tennis is being quite, uh, quite soft and too, uh, too neutral. We can see what, uh, what soccer did. They just banned all their teams. And that's the right thing to do because obviously I, under I understand the tennis players are not, it's not their fault. But at this point with, the amount of victims of this war, every Russian is responsible until they don't stop their president. And uh, for me, it's like this because no one asks here, Ukrainians, uh, no one gives us a chance to survive, even saying any words, not uh, just words, we're against war. They just bomb and that's it. And we die. <laughs>